Many guidelines have adopted bladder sparing approaches for speci specific patients, select patients with muscle invasive bladder cancer. But the reality on the ground is that um, these cases are often selected and reserved for patients who are not good candidates for surgery. And so there's basically a big gap between what the guidelines say and uh, what patients uh, get um, everywhere, I would say. Maybe a little bit less in England, but certainly in North America. And maybe this was due to the lack of comparison between the two uh, treatment options. The best comparison, as we all know, would be a randomized study. But unfortunately, um, all the randomized studies have stopped due to lack of accrual. Um, they were actually mainly the spare trial was in, in England. And Jim Cato also had another uh, blood sparing trial also stopped. And patient preference, physician preference, there were many reasons why these uh, R RCTs never um, accrued. But the, 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 the fact is that in the absence of level one evidence, we needed to establish the place of TMT compared to radical cystectomy. And that's why we embarked on this match court. And so it, we hope, and I think I really hope that with a valid, robust comparison, which can be generalizable because these were multiple institutions, um, this will gain, uh, gain traction and more patients will be aware and physicians of this treatment modality.